Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Varax Pebbles, and Henry, and his metal gauntlets hand things. So, uh, last episode went alright. Um, I'm still a bit salty about the crown thing. Uh, it seems like we came all the way up here to Talmberg, and now we've got to go all the way back down there to Sasau. To <laughs> There's the knacker. Alright, that's good. Um... However, people have been kind of uh, making noises about this quest right here. Not that one. Um, apparently, I already have this purple herb as well. Let's have no. Let's not look at that. Um, not that. That one. That's it. Um, so where is this at? Where is this at? Yeah, maybe we should go to Ujits then and do this, because people have been making noises that this is indeed a time quest. I don't know whether it is, but um, I'd, I'd rather not take the chance, so it's this way. We've got a long journey ahead of us, so feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Uh, I know there's some treasure around here somewhere, but I'm going to maybe yeah. skip it, I guess. The only way I won't is if uh, there happens to be a stream around this house, because I remember in the map there was a house and a stream. Um, but no stream, so I'm not really sure where to look for that. And um, yeah, I'm just going to put that on the back burner for now. And by back burner I mean like probably never ever do it. Um, but I don't know. We'll see if something crops up. Um, so... Yeah, quite a long way. We might come across some trouble, and I'm kind of hoping that we do. Honestly, kind of hoping that uh, there there is some trouble, so that we can kill some people and loot their stuff, because money is uh, becoming a slight issue. What if we take the bait here and they go, oh, "What's this? Is this an accident? Looks like an accident to me." Gosh, I sure hope nothing bad happens around this accident. <laughs> okay then, fine. It's an accident. Quite a weird accident, but... Yeah. And I wonder what the uh, situation is to get into that kind of situation. But, um, so yeah, kind of hoping for some bandits. Um, so I can kill them. Pretty much so. Look at me, I'm a nice horse. Nice flowing dress and my nice expensive armor. Gosh, I'd really hate to be attacked right now. <laughs> this road seems like too much of a main road to um, have bandits on it, but I don't know. I don't know how the game judges such things. But it's, you know, it's funny, isn't it? You know, like, I'm, I'm like, oh no, I hope I don't run into bandits and I run into bandits. I'm like, I hope I do run into bandits and I don't run into bandits. It's just how life is sometimes, isn't it? We're approaching. Oh, this is Starnberg. We'll skip this place again um, because I do not have the crown. It is ready, I just haven't picked it up. No, we got a courier to do it, but no. Uh, oh, missed you. What a shame. Alright, let's just uh, give Pebbles a bit of a rest here and check our map and see how to get out of here. It looks like the road up there. Up, uh, so if we just follow the road, basically, we'll get out and... Um, it's very, very simple. Very simple. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. have a word with this, this vicar. Now, I have got my, um, freshly shaven bonus. So that should help, because I imagine this might have something to do with, um, persuading, as many, 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 many quests do. So I'm kind of glad I went down the persuading route, because it has been very useful. Um, got me out of all sorts of jams and stuff. Oh look, an accident! No, yeah. <laughs> just watch. I will. Um, there's its wheel. Went all the way down there without a wheel. That's uh, that's impressive. Yeah, impressive. A strong horse pulling that. Only one wheel in it. <clears throat> Strong horse or a terrified horse? 
Yes. Let's see. Um, yep, this way. This way. Yeah. Oh, also, I just want to check, even though it has no relevance whatsoever, if I go into other and do it by A to Z. E Z. Uh, yes, I do have some of that already in my inventory. Whether that'll be on um, enough or not, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's funny how I never even considered. Maybe I've already got this. Huh. And maybe one isn't enough anyway. Have we killed all the bandits? I think we have, you know. They're all dead. We have slain them all. We have rid... The land of bandits. All right, we're back in Ugent's. We've got some uh, good memories from this place, although this place does not have fond memories of us. Hee 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 hee. But yeah, good times we had. Might pop in, well, we are gonna have to go and see our priest friend anyway, aren't we, so. Okay. Park you at the inn. Get yourself a drink, Pebbles, on me. I'm guessing this is pointing towards the church. Yes, that church. So we could spend some time getting changed and s it's not actually pointing towards where 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 are we at here? Talk to the vicar. Over there. That may well be him. That is him. Vicar's guard. Okay. Aye, but now we'll just talk to him. What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hannish hey, of Lyca. Hey, Henry's come to see you. Sir Hannish, hmm. And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. <laughs> I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. That ain't me. I'm sure Sir Hannish told you what I'm doing here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Baldensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. Will the locals trust me? Probably not. Probably not. Alright, find out from the vicar how you can help him. Well, let's ask this. How can I help you then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Kutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, <coughs> he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? I can. Naturally, Father. Otherwise, Sir Hannish wouldn't have sent me. I see. Yeah. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you've found something out, come back and see me. Ask him other stuff as well. Well, I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. And they don't trust me either, but you're an ordinary lad with a likable face. If a bit simple looking, <laughs> you'll have a much better chance of learning their secrets. You flatter me, Monsignor. Very well then. Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujits a few times. Yes, confessed. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him, so he couldn't even put together a list. I think if you're pulling someone's toenails out, they're going to confess, aren't they? No matter what it is. Um... 
I'm guessing he didn't speak willingly. Of course not. Yeah. It'll wonder his strength deserted him in the executioner's clutches. It's a pity. He might have known more. My lad, guard your tongue. It's unwise to question the ways of Mother Church. Heretics are a canker on the body of the Church. Do you know what's to be done with such an ulcer? You take the hot iron to it and burn it out. It may hurt. It hurt me too, to have to cause the man to suffer. I'm sure. But it had to be done for the well-being of the Church. Yes, yes, I'm sure, I'm sure it pained you a lot, didn't it? Who are these Valdensians? Oh, I've God. heard of them. Really? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, that. or the parish priest in Retai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Um... <laughs> Both possibilities are equally disturbing, but I'll allow you the benefit of the doubt, and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy, I don't have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. They're heretics. Very well, Monsignor. I'll get working on it, sir. Let's read this thing. God be with you, my son. <clears throat> Let's read this thingy. Count was written down by Master Borislav, scribe to the Archbishop recording the testimony given by the questioned heretic, whereby the interrogation was conducted by the very Reverend Jan of Olsek, Monsignor and Vicar to the Archbishop, and the lawful right of torture was carried out by the town executioner Francis, called Shanks, in the town jail, according to the resolution of the town's council. At first, the captive heretic, one Peter of Adrek, of Adrek, <laughs> refused to give testimony, whereupon the executioner was so instructed to encourage him to do so by the performance of the arts. Let it be stated that the interrogation uh, integrated Peter of that place uh, did long resist the executioner's persuasions. However, he did finally respond to a query as to the place of assembly. I'm going to just move away from here because this is very distracting. Let's have a sit down and do it inside. Not the best place to sit and read, right? is it really? No free... Ah, no, we'll just sit here. This is our spot. Right. How you doing? Okay, I'm gonna, um... I'll read to you, sir. Um... Okay. Finally responding to a query as to the place of I'll assembly... ...of the other heretics known to him. That they did meet in the township of Uzitz. When the vicar asked the prisoner to elaborate, that is, who they were and what house they assembled, uh, Peter again fell into silence. The executioner was again obliged to exercise his persuasive art, which in due course the vicar ordered him to de desist. But the prisoner was greatly fatigued, whereupon he did suddenly find his voice and begin to respond at length to the repeated query as to where he had met the other heretics. We could thereupon decree that the testimony of the prisoner be written down verbatim. May the Lord forgive me for hearing these heretical speeches, which, by my duty to Holy Mother Church, I am bound to set down in writing this day. Thus spoke the heretic. Okay, this is the important bit. I began my pilgrimage in Ujits, a den of iniquity, where the people were drinking and fornicating. What's the hold up? He could hey. have been there the night, the night we were there. So I... Oh, yeah. So I left the corrupt place at once, and and at once I saw another abomination, the temple of the Bride of the Antichrist, with the prow, proud of Babylon Tower. I went past quickly towards the rising sun, towards the rising sun. When I left the village, I came upon a crossroads and did hey, not know I'm which way to go. Here. So I fell on my knees and prayed, and my prayer was heard, for the finger of Christ rose from the ground and show, uh, to show the right path. On I went through the sinful land, and suddenly I heard the sound of a thousand-headed crowd at work, and I saw their queen and their towers. I journeyed further on, and all there, there rose ground of jaws and beer. Okay, well, sorry. Uh, and okay, I journeyed further on, and all at once there rose from the ground the jaws of the beer moth. And his broken teeth jutted up to the heavens like the tombstones of the Moabites. 
So I went through the mouth of the beast and by the road I saw the abode of the apostles of Peter and Andrew. I was hungry so I took the fruits of their labours and filled my belly. I then left the house and saw two windows weeping and keening. I wept with them and they let me sleep in their shadow. I went further along the edge of the world and saw the ribs of the great Leviathan washed up by the sea. Then I saw two bridges over the river Jordan and the devil tempted me and lured me to the one on the right, but I saw through his deception and went against his will. Then I finally saw it, the great way, the gateway to the Garden of Paradise, abundant with foliage, it was guided by men of straw, but they saw I was a good Christian and let me enter therein. These were the last words spoken by the heretic Peter, for he had then uh, breathed his last. The vicar did then state his death was surely the work of Lucifer, obviously, to silence his tongue for, uh, before the ears of the servants of God. The executioner thereupon took umbrage and made conceited objections for this for which his ways was cut by three groschen and he was admonished not to repeat such remarks, especially in the presence of the servant of Holy Mother Church. The body of the heretic was buried outside the cemetery walls as befits so that it should not corrupt the hallowed ground. Thereby the case of the heretic of Peter was brought to a close in accordance with Law. I think a lot of that was made up, you know. Right, so what does the quest actually say? Yes, maybe we could, um, I mean, I... Uh, so... I don't believe a whole lot about Leviathan and, uh... Behemoth and stuff. We should ask the innkeeper if he knew anything. He doesn't want to speak to us. No, just... God be with you. Yeah, about that. Okay. Take care now. Okay. Right then. Towards the rising sun. Okay. So, what we've got to do is basically try and make out what he said. So, let's have a look at the thing here again. And have a look at this. So. At once I saw another the temple of the Bride of the Antichrist with the proud Babylonian Tower. I went past it quickly towards the rising sun. So I guess that's the church. Um, I left the village, you came up on a crossroads and didn't know which way to go. So I put on my knees and prayed. Alright, let's find a crossroads. Uh, a crossroads. Thousand headed crowd at work and saw they could. Let's have a look. Just... We're looking for a crossroads now. So if we keep going towards the land of the rising sun, well not the land of the rising sun, but it's the rising sun, uh, then we will come to a crossroads. Quite a crossroads this, is it? Check the map and see if there's a crossroads about, and I don't see any crossroads at all. Maybe we just we should assume this is the crossroads? Okay. Prayer was heard for the finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. On I went through the simple land and suddenly I heard the sound of a thousand headed crowd at work and saw their queen and their towers. Did I tell you about my wife's lace making? No. Bees? How she did that? Well, she only started not long ago. Always Bees. So there is a maybe there's a maybe there's a beehive down here or something. I just uh, hmm. There's no crossroads at all, like anywhere. I'm gonna explore around here and see if I can find something like what he describes. Like 
I'm just thinking, you know, is there towers or beehives and they're queens? Well, no. They have a queen, the bees, and there's a thousand of them, and they, they sing, so... Uh, maybe I'm thinking to... I can't think what else that is. Crossroads thing has thrown me though. Well, I never... Even if it's up there, it's not a crossroads. That's not a crossroads. No, he, he already passed the church. Yeah, crossroads. There is no crossroads. That's the nearest thing to a crossroads. Suppose we, and there's a cross there as well. So, but what is that? Not a lot. Okay, what is that about? What on earth is that about? I don't think it's this quest. Probably this, or... Go see Teresa. Find pie. Alright, I don't know what that quest is about. Probably this one, about the master and stuff. next after that so we can make sense of something after it <clears throat> jaws of the behemoth broken teeth jutted out like like uh, to the heavens like tombstones maybe it was actually tombstones Be. I'm just looking for, you know, something like, like, jutted rocks or something, you know. Right. Right. Okay. That was lucky. So, dude, that is not, I suppose, that... That'll do, that'll do, okay. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So we're going to go here. And it just. But I don't think it's... Um Often they look like teeth. They're that way or that way, isn't it? There's going to be... Like, probably a point of uh, reference at yeah. every split in the path. What's up this way? Broken teeth jutted up to the heavens. So I went through the mouth of the beast, and by the road saw the abode of the apostles of Peter and Andrew. So this is important. So I went through the mouth of the beast. By the road I saw the abode of the apostles Peter and Andrew. I was hungry, so I took the fruits of their labors, filled my belly. Well, the mouth of the beast. Oh, it's just wait. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get lucky. I think I just did. I think I just did. I just stumbled upon two bridges. Guarded by straw men? Trees, maybe? Is 
Let's have that. I'd like to. Oh, wait for this. So, let's assume there can't be that many, um, double bridges. Run it with foliage. Can't even run a straw. Uh, so that was good and let that enter therein. So it's here. So I found it. So this is it. Apparently, something over there. I'm going to say this is it, you know. Alright, so maybe these people are what we're looking for. I discovered a camp. Could well be it, you know. I'll just help myself. Uh, excuse me. Are you a heretic? I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Me too. Brawlers? Do you know anything about local brawlers? Why do you ask? I like a good punch up myself. <laughs> so I'm keen on meeting like minded fellows. Then you're right. in luck. Because I'm in charge of all the fights here. You want to join in right now? Or have you any questions? This is not what I expected, but this is good. What are the rules? Nothing complicated. Don't you worry. First thing, no weapons. Try that once, and you're finished. Second, you can't walk away. Jump the fence, and that's the end. You lose. I want to join you. I want to fight. Well, if you're as good as you are keen, it'll surely be interesting. But before the two of us start brawling, this is not what I expected. The but Who are they? Where can I find them? Las Fromugias, Mash, Maple, and Ma. Uh, hmm. Joseph. Lord, watch over. So this isn't what we're looking for. Well, I got lucky there, you know. Go back to that double bridge. I mean, come on. A double bridge abundant with foliage. Yeah. I mean, wherever it was. Where was it? Is it? We can maybe backtrack and see what meant about yeah. the jaws of Leviathan and stuff like that. If we go along this way, the edge of the world. Oh, who knows, really? Yeah. Just check we are going the right way, or on the right track, if you like. Of course, we're back here now. Oh, I don't know whether that's right. Yeah. Anyone seen the jaws of Leviathan? No? I know it's round here. We just like ask at these places and stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple of areas we can just explore around here and hopefully just Basically, cut corners. Yeah. We did get yeah. the quest there, though, which is nice. New, uh, new quest. No. 
doesn't seem that secure, this, I suppose, if I... Yeah, I don't want to move that, do I? Otherwise I'll die. All things are going to come down on me. Alright, so let's not... Not this. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to cut corners then, but at the same time, I don't, yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm pretty confused. Yeah. I know I'm right with the beehive. So I found the, the first clue and then it just went all downhill from there. Come on, I mean... Two bridges, abundant abund foliage. The straw men aren't really there, but who knows what he saw. He went to the Gardens of Paradise and then it ends and the of there, so... There are people to be in fights. There's not that much up here, I mean. Yeah. Let's go back to this then. I mean, this is like like Jaws to you, like Jaws of a Leviathan or a Behemoth or whatever. Went through them. Let's say that goes through here. Yeah. Now I'm looking for ribs. Which I'm guessing might be branches or something. Oh, there's like two windows and stuff as well, so maybe yeah. I should skip. Ah, hello. Hello! Uh, maybe I was a bit too uh, hasty. Yeah. Interesting sight. Alright, so let's assume... Oh, this one. By the road, I saw the abode of the Apostles of Peter. There's no road around here, so... Hmm. I'm not sure whether these are the rib bones or... The teeth. Anything? It's gotta be something though, right? It's, right, it's somewhere over there, let's just go that way. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're rib bones. Yeah. Of these. Shrine. You know what I'm thinking of just doing is, is trying to find a river around here and going to that, but there isn't any marks. There's just this. That could be a stream there, but that's probably before. Hello. Welcome, Henry. Who I am? Yeah. I know I'm kind of skipping the blues a bit. I can't leave now. I still have obligations here. All right. Yeah. Edge of the map. But even all the way out here, they know who we are. Yeah. Two windows? Yeah. Alright, okay. Well, I'm just like gathering in my head what is round here, you know. Oh, 
Hi. So maybe I can yeah. piece it all together. It's going to say the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to go this way, huh? Yeah. If you look at it from this angle, looks like rib bones. Right? No rib bones on this road. So, ribs of the Great Leviathan brushed up by the sea. Then I saw two bridges over the River Jordan, and the devil tempted me to lure to the right. But I saw, so we have to go left over the bridge. But it might not be a literal bridge, might it? turn right at whatever choice we get to. Yeah. Straw men, though. You know, like, sc like scarecrows? Cowboy feeling I'm really, really close. I can't just drop everything and leave. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Maybe at that rib place, I was actually facing the wrong direction. Because I, I am skipping around a bit. Maybe it, the way is actually this way. There's the ribs. Right there. Ribs. Yeah. Follow here. Maybe. Again, two bridges. So maybe you're facing this way. I'm like so close. Seems I found it. It does, doesn't it? It does. That took a little while, and I did skip a little bit there. We got there in the end. Let's not sit around. No? Oh, that's uh Oh, there we go. No problem. How many lopics have we got? How many lopics have we got? You're not going to tell me, are you? do this you know how many lopics have we got where would I find that other I guess one more 
Ugh, maybe that's not how we do it, though. I'm tempted to just, uh... Get the f um... Save it and just, like, cheese it, but that's not really my style. There's gotta be more to it than, than that, you know, than just picking that lock. Because, for me, if it is just picking that lock, it'll be disappointing, really, because then, what if I can't pick it? So I'm tempted to save it just in case, you know, you have to pick the lock in order to, uh... Do this quest, and if you don't, you gotta go and get more lock picks, and yada yada yada. You gotta come back. I'll have a little look around first. Not people knew what I was looking for, of course. It just says. Blues. <laughs> and now I'm lost in the woods, apparently. I do like how they they put double bridges here and there to sort of like throw you off. A cross, nicely carved. Hmm. All right, so that's it. Someone in the village might recognize it. All right, I'm not gonna try and do that block because I can't. Or not very easily. Right then. Let's disable this. Uh... Actually, they're all in the same place, aren't they? We can get some fist fights on when we go back. Yeah. Which is now because uh, it's getting dark. But all right, we got there in the end. So huzzah! Hooray! Huzzah! Dark a little while. There's the fisherman. We did it. So good. Kind of a huh, interesting uh, little puzzle that. Quite liked it. I didn't follow it exactly. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah. One thing about being at the top of the world here, you know, on the most northern part of it, is, um... What's that? I can sort of, like, go south now and try and do all the quests, like, in some sort of vague order. Where, where am I? Well, we got some fist fights to do, but also we got just some random stuff to do. Hmm. Let's talk to the bailiff. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for the owner of this cross. Do you happen to know whose it is? Uh, no, I don't. But why not ask the priest? He blesses all the crosses in the village. Thanks. I'll ask him. Ah, the priest. God be with you. The priest. Hello. God. Yes, greetings. At least, at least we're having a, a rapport with him. Serve you. The village folk said you consecrate the crosses they keep at home. Indeed, I do. Why do you ask, Hal? I was just wondering if you could remember who owns this one. I could, but I might not want to tell you. Why? 
People said they saw you talking with a vicar. They're afraid that Sir Hanu sent you here to help him. Well, that is basically true. It is. Jesus Christ, Hal, are you insane? To get involved with a man like that? Sir Hanu sent me to find out what he wants, and to get him out of here if possible. Well, then we share the same interest. But I'd still prefer it to end with nobody burned at the stake. Fair enough. You and me both. That's good to hear. Where did you find the cross? Let's do a deal. I'll tell you where I found it, and you tell me whose it is. Very well. Tell me. I found it in the woods. It looked like people met there. There were other things. Candles, a cloth, and so on. Damn it! That really does seem like... Yes. But the vicar is right to be looking here. It surprised me, too. So whose is it? The cross is definitely the Bowers. I remember that. But that just can't be. I can't believe it. If they really are heretics, though... What do you want to do? I don't know. But I'll do anything in my power to prevent a heretic witch hunt taking hold here. I see. It wouldn't make Sir Hannes too happy either. My thoughts exactly. But the question still remains what to do about it. The vicar won't give up till he's found what he wants. You know what, boy? Before we do anything else, we ought to make sure whether there really are heretics here. Yeah. What do you propose? Not sneaking. That's simple. Listen to how they say their prayers. But how can I listen to their private prayers? I don't suppose they'll be praying that way in the church. Certainly not. In the church they'd pray the usual way. But at home it's a different matter entirely. I know they meet at the farm in the evening with all the domestics. They'll surely be praying then. All right. But how can I listen in? I don't know. Crouch beneath the window? Climb up in the loft? That way you'll be sure to hear everything said in the main room. Snaking! Okay. What do you know about the Bowers? When I think about it now, they're a little peculiar. What do you mean? Well, they do rather keep themselves to themselves. They attend mass, true enough. They leave the moment it's over. And I've never seen them at a dance or a celebration of any kind. But on the other hand, they give more alms to the needy in the village than anyone. I can't deny them that. Where did those Bower folk come from? I don't really know. Uh, I've never spoken to them much, but they've not been here long, only two or three years. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. And the cross? Did you consecrate that for the Bowers themselves? No. It belonged to the family who lived on the farm before them. That was quite a sad story. Right, I'll get on with it. Sneaking. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. What the hell was that? Alright, I went the wrong way. We've got a choice here. We could, go, we could go to the vicar. Or... We could find this barrel farm all the way down there. All right, well, I guess now is a good time to go, all right? Creep into their loft. Okay, creep into their loft. Hello. Creep into their loft. Maybe I'll do some fist fighting. It doesn't seem right though. Just, you know, for the video, but no. No, we'll, um, we'll try and get into their loft. Yeah! By sprinting or galloping there on a very colourful horse. Very stealth, everyone! His way out of town. Again, is uh, suspicious. Well, not in itself, but you know, it would it would help them be heretics if they didn't live in town, wouldn't it? 
Alright, I'm just going to, uh... Yeah. Where is this farm? Before I decide what I do, I need to find it. Because I reckon I can, I can beat people in, um, in fights now. I reckon I can do that. There we go. He also said, you know, maybe like crouch by the window, but I don't think the game's gonna let me do that. I do maybe need to acquire some sneaky clothes. Okay. Put you here just in case we need to get away get away quickly. Maybe change our attire a little bit, because visibility is sixty one. So, I mean uh so we want to be so less visibility is good I'm going to keep that on not doing anything what about that get rid of that Because this is a, this is pretty dark. How about those gauntlets? To you, okay. I don't want to take too much off, you know. My trousers. Oh, we can... That's fine. Ooh, that's a um, big difference. All right, yeah, we'll take them off. Well, still want to maintain like, but yeah, I've got no head armor now, so maybe I should put. that back on. Got no arm armor, but that's just gonna have to be the way it is. Visibility 49 is pretty low, considering we're not simply trying to do that, you know, deck out for it. And it may well be a good point to save the video, even though there's 10 minutes left. Um, no, not that. Uh, how are we doing for... okay. Hello, we'll drink. Scotch Courage. Not keen on that. Yeah, they're all sleeping. That would make sense. Maybe I'm just here at the wrong time. But now's a good time to sneak into their loft if they're all sneaking. What is that? Say? What, what does that mean? seeing this up here. It's like the uh <coughs> Don't know what that symbol means up at the top by the uh By the compass. That's where I need to be though. Maybe there's a way in other than the front door. Yeah. Well isn't that handy? Okay, we're going in. Nice! And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are bound to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. They... They took old Wenzel to the presbytery today. His farm is nearby. It's only a matter of time before... Before th they come for me. I know. And what are we going to do about it? That vicar is baying for blood, the beast. He will devour you alive. I do not intend to do anything about it. I shall not waver from my faith, nor turn my back on it. My dear, 
What on earth are you saying? If they come for me, I will go quietly. And I will not lie. Are you serious? Don't you know what they'll do to you? I can well imagine. But I am resolved. The Lord have mercy. Do not fear. I surrender to God's will. And I do not condemn you if you decide to leave. I'll stay by your side. Although I'd rather that you decided otherwise. I know. And you have no fear, my brothers in Christ. Stay true to God's plan as I shall. Go and spread the true faith amongst all good folk. I'm sorry, I wish there was another way. You should eat your supper and depart right away. Who knows, you may come for us at dawn. Yeah, well, that doesn't sound... I know. Well, that's just what that means. Okay. Come on, Lado, don't let me down. I don't like you and you don't like me. Let's, uh... Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Henry. Frickin' Henry. There we go. Okay, that is successful. Let's put our eye gubbins back on. We almost got caught there, you know, outside in the, um, I suppose the, uh, I'd describe it as, um, courtyard? I can't know where that. We're gonna have yeah. to, uh, wake the, the vicar about this, but. That's actually made it worse. <laughs> I'm gonna put that away. Yeah. Full moon ish, it's gonna be fairly full. Yeah, there's a lot of bright coming off that. Yeah. A lot of bright, a lot of light, a lot of brightness. Yeah. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Don't judge me. But they, they seem like good people. Um, so, I mean, I don't know a lot about religion, but I guess that might just be a different part of Christianity that the victor doesn't like. I mean, they're still babbling about God and stuff, so they know what the big deal is. Oh, steady on there. Oh, steady on there. Well, of course, he won't want to be woken, will he? That doesn't happen in this game. It doesn't matter whether you can report, like, an attack on the village. You know, everyone's dying. The plague is here. Run away. Or aliens are invading. People will not wake up for anything. So maybe... I'll give it a go. Maybe he'll be awake, because he's a bit weird. Yeah. Be drinking. But if, it's, if he's asleep, I shall also rest and call it video. Let's see, uh where he is. What mind? What mind? Around here somewhere. Oh, they're ringing the bells again, is he? Might be in <laughs> Ah, Vicar, you crazy. Sorry, Father. No? You better be up here with all this effort that I'm going into, you know. Don't know what you'd be doing up here at this time of night. Or maybe I do. 
I am making no secret that I'm climbing these. Oh yeah, he's asleep. That's a weird place to sleep, man. Okay. Okay, he's gonna wake God up God save first. you, good night. What can I do for you? So, I went to check on the Bower Farm, and I don't have good news. Do tell. They most certainly are heretics. At least as far as I can tell. Okay. Are you sure? What did you hear? Prayer was lit by a woman. Okay. Well, you know, Henry's never been all that religious, you know? I mean, they're not bad people, are they? Okay? I mean, they're heretics in the, in the eyes of, you know, this, this archaic religion that exists in this world at this time. But uh, um, Her Henry's never really, like, like, done anything religious. Never really been a religious person. He just knows about it. But there's very little in the game to suggest that he is... Um, Himself a God-fearing person, even though I'm sure he believes in God, because everyone did at this time, pretty much. Very rare that I think they, they didn't, or at least admitted to it. So, but at the same time, um, you know, would that sway him in this? Um, I don't think so, really. And I, I don't know whether... Maybe I'll let, I'll, let, I'll let Father Godwin make this call. Um, because... Well, is this really that heretical? I mean, they're not sacrificing goats and praying to the devil, are they? So, um, <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Doesn't really mean that. Sh ah, this is a tough one, you know, balancing like the like the real world sensibilities to this medieval scenario. What what Henry would would do, but he is calling them heretics. So, on that basics, ba base basics, ba basics, ba because of that basis. Well, for a start, the evening prayers were led by a woman. That is certainly unusual, but nothing conclusive in itself. Hmm. That's not all. Yeah, they are afraid of the vicar. They're afraid the vicar will be coming after them. Who wouldn't fear that? That swine finds fault with everyone. Well, it's not like you'd have to try too hard. Mrs. Bower plans to confess everything. Confess what, exactly? Oh, no. Most likely her faith? The people of the farm were trying to discourage that, but her mind's made up. Oh, good lord, that's all I need. What am I to do? Here we go. I think we're going to help them. You know, they're not bad people. They're not, you know, maybe... I don't know, like, like why would they be praying in the woods and stuff? I don't get it. I don't... I, I, I myself don't really know too much about this, but I don't think they're particularly bad people. So, and, you know, burning her at the stake and all that, she doesn't really seem like she deserves that from little, what little we know of her. So. I don't know, but we have to help them. You're quite right. Yeah, okay, good. You have to talk them out of it, Hal. You must convince them to run. Kind of one who's supposed to catch them. Convince them? That's easy for you to say. You haven't heard her talking. I'm sure you'll find a way. I am pretty cool. You have to try at least. For their own good and for yours, Hal. Yeah, well, you know. You're right. Someone has to help them. I'm glad you see it that way. Now hurry. You never know when the vicar might come for them. This is probably not the best way of Goodbye. doing this, you know. Honestly. It's, oh, God, I gotta go all the way back here now. Oh, I don't want to sleep when you use the light. Fifteen ladders to use. Doesn't seem right stopping the episode now. It's only like a 30 second to a minute ride back there once I finally get to the frickin' horse. After this ladder gauntlet I've got to run. You know, and hopefully I don't die on the way down here because, you know, if I just accidentally fall for whatever reason because I can't select this one for... Uh, there we go, there's the sweet spot. There it is. So look at you guys, look at you guys that uh, the, the, the vicar was there and like able to speak to us because now we get, I'm going to do it. That was a mistake. No, it was alright actually. Yes you can. Yes you can. I've been lazy. We got we to help a maiden. Type thing. I don't know why I've got my ball out. I might need it, you know, because this is the sort of game where it's just going to be like, can I just not have light? There we go. Now I think I've... Okay, so this is a sort of game where 
It's just going to be. Can we not have this? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> he's going to arrive when I'm there. He's just going to. It's going to be scripted that he's going to be there, even though it's the middle of the freaking night. Although that would be a good time to go and catch heretics. To be fair, in their beds. So I could buy that. Goodbye and come in uh, storming in with, with his bodyguard. Um, and I'm going to have to kill him. Or, or, it is just a case of me having to convince her. Now, I still have my freshly shaven thing. That's about all I've got, really. He seems pretty uh, determined, so I don't really know how this is going to go. But like he says, our good Henry, somebody has to try and help them. And I guess he figures, you know, that even though they are heretics... In, in, in one sort of sense of the word. They're not heretical enough to, to deserve torture and death. So, he's going to do his best to dissuade her from that. The thing is, if they run away and the vicar leaves, they can always go back. Because the vicar may well then say, look, they ran away, they're obviously heretics, so they couldn't really, you know, integrate into society again be a bit sort of taboo and all that so yeah. um, I guess we'll see how this goes good thing the moon is uh, so bright okay, I believe we're here gonna make no attempt to be stealthy this time the lights are off I insist you wake up like the priest did oh no it's just still on Are we going to knock, or are we just going to go in? We are... Well... Can I knock? You know, I mean... What if I go in through the roof? There was a gap. If I just, like, launch myself down there... Like, hello! Yeah, this is how we do it. Um, ladder? Or some, some means of... Oh god, do I want to go down there? I don't. Well, here I go. Hello! Don't mind me. Oh god, no one's here. Well, at least I can have some of their stew if I wanted to. I could... Wait, I, I could try and rob them. None of this is particularly... Oh, wait a minute, there's another door here. Oh. Hello? Look, right, I've just broken into your house, okay? You really should be a little more... No, I can't get out, can I? Okay, I can open from... Ah, that's nice, thank you. That's sad. Where are these people? I just brought, I just broke into your house. The neighbour... The, 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 the burglar wakes you and you're like... Ah, what? Where were they sleeping before? Villager? Villager. Sleeping outside. Okay, that's that makes sense I guess uh, this is just a workshop thing where on earth are you lady follow the A follow the A and it leads me exactly where I am come on I don't know why I'm rushing really but in here I mean what, what on earth where is she wasn't up there, was she? Still, there's no way to get up there. I love how he's not. Gonna uh, wait for no man. Uh, oh no! Clear off. Let me sleep. Look, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to save, like you know, your wife, I guess. Is she up here? I just walked past her. That wouldn't surprise me, you know. Oh, yeah, I did, you know. <laughs> I did. Ah, oh, boy. Mistress Bower. What is it you need? Oh, dear. I've come to ask something of you. Have you? And just who are you, young man? Well, I'm just someone who broke into your house and woke you up in the middle of the night. You seem pretty, um... Pretty... I don't work for the vicars, that's a lie. Um... 
I don't know what I was going to say, but anyway, go on. That doesn't matter. Pretty calm. The important thing is that I want to help you and your husband. I admit that I'm a little confused. You've come to ask me something, but at the same time you want to help me. What's going on? I want to ask you not to confess to the vicar. Just take your husband and get out of here while there's still time. I have no idea why you're so taken with my fate, or how you found out about my intentions. But I'll tell you one thing. Changing my mind is out of the question. I won't betray my faith, nor my brothers in Christ. <sighs> okay, yeah, so we can do this. So, that's good. Don't know whether these makes any of these make a difference, though. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Let's do this one. But now you've got a chance to escape. Surely you won't throw it away. I won't oppose God's will for me. For heaven's sake, woman! If it were God's will you should burn, it would have happened a long time ago. You can't know that. And don't you think the investigation is dragging on a bit? Do you think nobody in the village speaks badly of you? Don't fool yourself. Those old people from the farm who keep to themselves, they're right for denouncing, aren't they? And yet nobody's come to arrest you so far. It may just be that God is giving you time to get away. You may be right, but I can't lie. It's against all my teaching. You won't have to lie if you've never asked any questions. Just leave. You can preach elsewhere. I'm sure you have lots of friends who'd love to take you in. But I don't want to run. Tough! No one wants to run away, but sometimes we have no choice. If you run, your faith will live on. That must mean something. You're right. I shouldn't give in so easily. I've just grown so weary of the endless persecution. You should pack up and run away as soon as you can. The vicar might get here any minute. Thank you the vicar! You. Don't delay. Take care. You were the vicar? No? Okay. Bloody thing in the way of that wonderful conversation we just had. Go, Henry, go. Go, Henry. Go, Henry, go. Well done, Henry. You are a good lad. And very persuasive. Only because you decided to have a bit of a wash. But there we go. Lessons learned from Kingdom Come Deliverance. Have a wash before you try and persuade someone. It works. Okay. So now... I guess we report back to the vicar. Saying there are no heretics here, sir. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of it. Nice. Yeah. And all the way back to Ujits again. Yeah. Pebbles, I'm just going to take a nap on your back here. Uh, you, uh, you know the way. You've done this before. Now would be a bad time for bandits because I can't see what I'm doing. Although, bandits in the middle of a field in the middle of the night, I don't think that's yeah. uh, be a thing, is it really? So, I think we're going to be okay. Why does it have to be so far away, though? Oh. Even as I travel, travel as the crow flies. It's down that one bloody way. Oh, boy, I thought that was a cliff there. Sorry if you can't see anything, but we're travelling towards Ujits. At breakneck speed... Warp speed 10, or something. Oh, God! And I think I've fallen into a... No, we're okay. We're okay. Maybe I should have fast-traveled. Maybe I still will fast-travel. This was a bad idea, wasn't it, Pebbles? There we go. Alright, I'll fast-travel from here. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just fast-travel. There. Yes, let's just do that, because we're, like, right there. Now, Mr. Vicar, sir, where are you? You're there. That's you. I'm certain of it. Don't know why. That isn't you. 
Um, you are. Yeah. Maybe I could wait till dawn for this one. Although it's about heretics and the lack therein. Maybe I shouldn't rush so much thinking about it. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. I've given them like three seconds to get away, haven't I? Maybe that's going to be part of um, how this quest resolves. If you tell them too quickly, he'll, you know, rush over there and they're still there because you haven't given them time to escape. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. At the same time, if I wait, I'm not going to know. Can't even get a proper bed. All so peaceful. Oh, I can't take the book. Not that I would rob from my good friend Godwin anyway. Um, oh, I don't know. Hmm. Have a good time, isn't he? Why doesn't wake up with me in here, you know? Like this. Yeah, I don't know whether I should rest first. Um, got me a bit worried. This. What if I just wait for an hour? That's what I'll do. I'll wait. I'll give him an hour. We've got to get up there as well. He's got to get dressed and everything. I reckon this will be okay. Probably. Because if I still, if I burst in now. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Good. I found them, Monsignor. Pardon me? I found the heretics. Really? And who are they? The Bauer family and their entire household. Hmm. Well, I expect you to give me some evidence. In the last few days, I've been hearing how practically everyone here is a heretic. I found that place the captive heretic talked about, and I found a family cross there. It took a bit of asking around, but I learned it belongs to the Bowers. Their farm isn't far from here, to the north. And then all I had to do was go there and do a little spying. What of it? What did you hear? Nothing at all. The farm was deserted, not a living yeah. soul anywhere. Ha! They fled. So they are heretics. What will you do, Monsignor? It's not the first time the Devil's Spawn has fled from me. I'll do the same as always. Track them down and capture them. Don't worry, they won't get far. <clears throat> Thank you for your help. You may leave. Farewell. Oh yeah. I am happy with the way that went. I am very happy with the way that went, everybody. I am pleased. But that went the way that that did. Yes. I wonder if we could sleep there. With uh, Godwin's concubine. Oh! Now you've decided... Oh, you got to... Okay, fine. I doubt the inn is open anymore. It is three o'clock in the morning, after all. Is there any point going to bed? I'll tell you what. It's not. We're just going to uh, call it there, I think, you know, as we uh, enjoy the moonlight and the moon. The moon has, has become shy. Where is the moon? I guess it might have gone in. Yeah, I think it over there. All right, then. Well, Pebbles and I are just going to hang around, loiter in the dark until dawn. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I am I'm pleased with the way that that went. So, good. Yes, indeedy. All right, then. You guys, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully enjoyed that as much as I did. I shall hopefully see you next time. Take care. Good luck.